Finding one of those buttons, because that's all he ever gets. I mean, to I'm take sure, I'm sure he up. always has to do that because yeah. his forearms are so big, it oh just pops God. open. Like yeah. he's just like. I'm surprised the man can wear clothes. Basically, yeah. yeah. That, I didn't know they made things in that size. Yeah, I know, right? <sighs> Crazy stuff. The rock is good. Nairo Pliz. What do you mean? <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it, I want Nairo here too. That would be awesome. Undertaker. I can see Undertaker. Ooh. Good. Good call, Mr. Lucky Tails. Let's Undertaker go, Lucky would Tails. be a good one. Especially considering he just choke slams you to hell. <laughs> like that, That's true, actually. Yeah. One one of one of the few. <laughs> one of the few is just like, yeah, you're, you're <laughs> get, later. Get down there. And with the just with the name Undertaker too. It's like kind of implied. He's take he's take he's gonna grab you and then take you down there. Okay, so I, I know why uh, Kid Flash is so good. It's because he has my same hat. That's true. Except That's true. Mine is not here with me today, but it also says TS and Cal on the side. So mine's a little bit cooler. Yeah, yours is the uh, the custom version. It's yeah. the version that matters. It's custom, right. boys. So Ooh. our next match is going to be Lion versus Nano R. All right. Looks like we got Mewtwo versus Meta Knight, and they are already starting. Yeah, so I'd imagine that Lion is the Meta Knight? Yes, Lion is the Meta Knight. Yeah. This is, a, a Mewtwo. this is got to be a scary yeah. matchup for both. I would s probably say specifically for Mewtwo. Or, yeah, specifically for Mewtwo yeah. because if you can't get the kill on Meta Knight, Rage, Up Air combos will take the stock quickly. Yeah, you're, you're gone, especially with how light you are. Oh, you're yeah. going to be off the top super quick. And you're but, just not floating enough to escape Meta Knight stuff later in percents. But uh, okay, Lion is going for a dash attack to a straight up B. Because, you know, why not? Yeah, he's hoping that DI makes it you know, work in his favor. Good he tech. almost a jab block? And, and good, uh, good mash to get out of that grab. Yeah. It wouldn't have gotten a kill, but uh, forward throw from Mewtwo fresh does like 14%, 15%. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, re it's real good. It's a lot of percent on. Would have definitely put him in the lead. Oh, yeah. See, now uh, Lion has to start worrying about back throw at ledge, up throw is about to start coming into effect, and yeah. then fair will kill. What would you say, about now or a little up, bit more? Percent? Up okay. throw is definitely yeah. good. Up throw is, it's relocked and loaded, Mewtwo is Oh, but so going is flying. dimensional cape disappearing and coming back behind you. Hide your kids, hide your wise Mennonites in town. That up throw is not going to do it without any rage, though. And or missing his opportunity he had last stock. Now trying to get it back. Let's see if he can do it, or if Lion will just keep conquering this game. Oh, if he had just ran and just gotten the grab. Instead of trying to the pivot grab, there we go. That one's, yeah, oh, that one's yep. way high all percent. Right. We all knew what was going to happen. Lion's the first Latino Heat player to lose his stock in this tournament so far. You know, the first of many. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to take him out. Oh, okay. I'm calling it. Call By the way, it. did you know you can SDI out of Meta Knight's Tornado? Uh, tornado. <laughs> I did it earlier as Fox. You can just SDI straight <laughs> down. I'm sure Mewtwo can SDI up. Yeah, yeah, probably. And just float out the top. It's very interesting. I, it's really hard, though. Hmm. I may have to use that in my play in the future. Yeah, I, 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 I basically, when you SDI, you have to SDI like Bayonetta. And are we going off? Oh, my God. Okay, oh. the second hit didn't connect. Nanoar DIing up. It's very scary, but it got the first hit got him out of the second because of that. Yep, yep. And now he's back in the game with the lead and everything. Alright, falling there, not gonna do the trick. Okay, dash attacking like crazy. We all know what Lion's going Ooh. for now. Again, first hit, knocking him out of the second one. Yeah, Man. DI'ing up, like you said. Super scary, but you kinda have to whenever Man Knight can kill you. Especially as, as a floaty, it just knocks you right out of that, that uh, up B. It's it's interesting, he's gotta watch those air dodges too. Nanoar is getting, has to watch those because he is, uh, every time he's air dodging above stage, Lion is underneath him waiting with an up air and up air will combo into up b well into kill percents so he needs to watch out for that yeah i mean right now the lion is gonna have to start finding another way to be killing nanar because it's not working the up b is not doing the job and he needs to get the stock off now because he is slowly falling more and more behind oh that up smash may have done it actually if that connected but lion jumping off the platform before it can be uh carried into it <laughs> oh that's dodging, it right that's there gonna be the game yep, yep. That air right. dodge, he, uh, I think he wanted the ledge cancel, but he was facing the wrong direction. And because he was facing backwards and you can only ledge cancel an air dodge if you're facing forwards, mm -hmm. it just kind of stuck him in that spot. Yeah, it was really unfortunate. And because of it, quick up. Yep. 
quick up B, quick, quick stock. Boys. But that was a pretty good match. I've never seen Nanowar before, and yeah, he's Nanowar. showing a, he's putting up the good fight. Yeah, especially against a, a growing player in DFW. I'd say in DFW, like two of our players who've been rising in the ranks recently as like uh, Lion and then Little Video. Yeah, but Little I think video. they both shot up. Uh, to be able to take bigger names than they used to be able to, like, really, really quickly. Oh, yeah. yeah Obviously, yeah. Antoine as well. I think it's just because Antoine started to go to more stuff. People but he, found he out started, about him and everything. Yeah, basically. He's always been really good, but people are just like, oh, so this is who that fox is. Okay, cool. Who, who is this fox? <laughs> and then they watch him do dumb stuff, and they're like, that's yeah. who this fox is. <laughs> that, that's who he is. Okay, it's cool. Oh, Lion going for the down airs. I don't... Like with Meta, it's like one or two frames that can spike, right? Or can he even get a spike on it? Uh, he can't get a spike on that. Okay. The closest he has is on really large stages like Battlefield. He can get a back air spike footstool. Oh, okay. That's but it's hard, and if you're not on like Battlefield or uh, Dreamland, he'll SD. Oh. Okay. Jeez. Right now, though, this uh, this counter pick not working out super well for Nanoir. Give it's it took away his escape his options. escape options. Yeah. Yeah, counter picking the FD is not Ooh. great. Ooh, jumps, and that's gonna put him into the blast zone. So sometimes whenever you're going out there, it's better to just hold the direction, not input anything. Oh, we got the jab. Oh, oh dropping the jab. Barely off. missed it. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut no, you no, off. No, you're fine. So as I was saying, whenever you're drifting towards the blast zone and you're so close, sometimes it's better to just let go of your controller besides you know holding to left or right. Because if you input anything, it may push your character model into the blast zone and kill you. Yes. Like that jump just did for yes. Anwar there. There's actually, on Smash Boards, there is a, a couple charts you can find of people who looked at, like, hit stun canceling type things and how much percent you can save. On average, it's just typically better not to do anything at all because yeah. sometimes, like, if you didn't put a fair or whatever, you will actually die, like, a percent earlier. Like Lion just did as well. He also just inputted a fair and then actually died. Yeah. <laughs> just It just happens. Yeah. It's just, you get, your your character model gets pushed a little bit back into the block zone, yeah. and you're gone, so. You know. Right now, Nanowar finally hitting that, uh, oh. ooh, good DI on that, that. Finally yeah. hitting the uh, fully charged Shadow Ball, evening up this game. He brought it back from nowhere. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Essentially, by just playing very safe. This game was in the desert, now it's inside of Las Vegas, baby, but Lion says, nope, I just got, oh. oh. Ooh. Lion just hit the jackpot on the slot machine oh, in Vegas. Oh, no, I can't. I can't with that. That was that, that was, was the read we all want. Read. That was the read we all want to hit. <laughs> the read we all want to hit. That was... And Lion just walks away with his hood up. He's Dark Lion. Like, yeah, you know, he's Dark Lion right now. He is <laughs> dark lion, ready like, yeah. to go. He's ready to play. That was crazy. <laughs> I, every time you see a, I see a read like that, it's just like... I always Rip. think of like man the McMango reads. He'll like do something and just turn around, and charge up, smash, and it's like you're gonna roll. <laughs> Why'd you roll? Why? Why'd you roll? So, since I've never seen Nanowar before, I'm guessing he probably plays a lot for glory, which is which may be why he kind of picked the FD. Possibly. Because for like what I whenever I go to tournaments, if I'm playing against someone who I've never heard of or seen in the bracket before, no matter who I'm playing, it, like back when I played Little Mac, ban FD. Because that is the only stage they know for the most part. <laughs> I'm like, if you have platforms, you're uncomfortable. <laughs> See, Let's I, go. <laughs> if I if I don't know anyone that I'm playing against, I like to take them to FD because to really? me that sh how they do on FD versus Fox 